Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading for September 1st through the 15th, 2019. This is a collective reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. It's also a general love reading. Uh, may not resonate with everybody. If it does not resonate with you, please check out your moon and rising signs. Also, if it still doesn't resonate, please check out uh, other readers. There's so many talented readers out there, and we all tap into different collectives. So, uh, yeah, if, if you're looking for a message and, this, and it's not here, go find it because it's definitely out there. Um... Right now, I'm going to ask God, our angels, our archangels, the Holy Spirit, and our guides to bless these cords with love, light, and prosperity. We thank you so much for the clarification, confirmation, and validation that we get through these messages. We ask you to calibrate the energy of these cords to that of our Gemini friends and bring out the message that is in their highest and best good, especially in the area of love. That's what we're seeking today. What is going on in the area of love with Gemini, September 1st through the 15th, 2019? And the first energy card I'm going to pull is, where are you now? Where are you uh, coming into the month, coming into September in regard to love? And we're getting emotional withdrawal. And where is Gemini headed during that two week span, what what are they going to be uh, traveling through in regard to love during that two week span? We thank you for clear and concise information and confirmation and validation. And we're getting material and spiritual prosperity. Okay, and then what is their challenge? What is their challenge in this situation as it relates to love? Please let us know with Gemini, what is their challenge as it relates to love the first couple weeks in September? And we're getting our. Okay. I am going to pull some clarifiers on these energies and then we're going to... Uh, jump into the actual message. So while I'm shuffling these cards, I do want to remind you to please stay till the end. Always do a PS at the end. Sometimes it's confirmation on the message that you've received in the main reading, and sometimes it's a whole new little message all in itself. So definitely stay till the end and see what else Spirit has to say for you or to you after this reading. Um, God, guides, angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for clarification, confirmation, and validation. We ask you in regard to this emotional withdrawal card, what is it that we, what is more information that we need to know in this area? Can you please clarify why do we have the emotional withdrawal card in the area of love coming into September? We have the Eight of Fire. Okay. And in regard to uh, these next two weeks, what they're going to be traveling through, what they're going to be walking through in regard to love, show us clearly why is material and spiritual prosperity in that position as it relates to love for Gemini, September 1st through the 15th, 2019. And we're getting seven of water. Okay, and as it relates to love, with Gemini, September 1st through the 15th, 2019, show us why we're getting the power card in the challenge position. Show us why is the power card in the challenge position. Okay, and we're getting... Ooh, call Gemini that's pretty exciting okay so I promise you these are love readings <laughs> um, so the eight of eight of uh, well it's just the number eight card in this deck this is the uh, John Holland psychic tarot deck 
and it's actually an oracle deck so I use it for energy cards and this is the same as the eight of cups in the tarot in the in the tarot um or tarot I, it I never know how it's gonna come out of my mouth but anyway um here you see a, a, a gentleman sitting on a beach facing the water and praying or meditating uh, he's connecting he's connecting with his higher self with God with the angels the archangels the guides uh, but it, it's it's symbolic of somebody who has decided to uh, go out and find themselves and find what is best for them uh, without like like shucking everything they've ever known everything they've ever thought was the the way things were and they went out and decided I'm gonna go figure it out for me what's best for me so this is where you've been and you're walking into September from this place um, and it's clarified with the eight of fire the eight of fire is the same as the eight of wands and in the eight of wands in the tarot you see wands coming like down from heaven and there's two uh, doves on either side of the group of wands it's like this is a spirit-filled message it is a, a message of peace and love for you so it looks like either this uh like you had an inner inner uh um urging to go and do this to it's, it's like you finally said okay show me show me what it is that i'm here for in regard to love uh or, or or what's my purpose i'm just i'm just not getting it so uh so you pulled out you pulled out from you know you probably not hanging out with your friends as much you're not going out with the regular crowd you just decided to just retreat within yourself because of this this calling this this uh it's, it's like an inner urging an, an unction uh something like that it's it's it puts you in this place so you're going to walk from there into this place where you're going to stand up. You're going to stand up from here and you're going to look out and you're going to say, man, I am so blessed. I am so incredibly blessed spiritually, materially, financially, in, in every way possible. This is the same as the Six of Pentacles. This person in the Six of Pentacles is is all about equal give and take so you find yourself now in regard to love in a position where you don't need anybody to take care of you you're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself excuse me <coughs> you're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself you've come to a place in your life where <coughs> Excuse me. You've come to a place in your life where you know your value. You understand who you are and what you're here for. Uh, and it's not necessarily just a love relationship, but you desire that. Okay. So, and the universe is all about giving us our heart's desires. That's why as you walk into September, you're going to be walking in with lots of options on the table. Okay. This is the same as the seven of cups and, uh, it's got different meanings depending on the read but here you see this mermaid sitting there and she's just looking she gets to take her pick she gets to pick whichever one she wants and this isn't necessarily gender specific this could be a guy sitting here or it could be a woman uh, but this person this person who has done this work this inner work it's been it's it's been a while it's been a journey and you've gotten to the point now where you you stood up from that uh, that retreat and and you're looking around and you're feeling so blessed and you're feeling like you know if I have somebody good if I don't that's good too and as a result of that suddenly you have all these options and they're they're there for you to choose from okay now here's your challenge the strength card okay when it comes to love we get goofy sometimes we can go from this and fall in love and and be totally lose our brain lose our we lose every bit of ourselves because we invest so much into that relationship so your challenge is going to be to to maintain your strength maintain your balance 
us spiritually and physically maintain that person that you've worked so hard to become continue to be who that is continue to love yourself that much even within this relationship and that's the challenge is your strength and it's being clarified with the call and and I'm gonna tell you why it's being clarified with the call uh, when I was little uh, we used to hear people say, or it was a common saying, you got to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. Okay. So you don't have to go kiss them all, but you might have to go to dinner with them all <laughs> to, to be able to, uh, to, to weed them out because not everybody that comes to you is going to be the right one that's being called to you because this is telling me somebody is being called to you. But unless you're standing in your personal power, you're not going to recognize them, okay? If you, in any situation, because remember, when it comes to love, and this is girls and guys, when it comes to love, we tend to, and I hate this word. I used to tell my kids if they said this word, I would whip their butt. Um, but when it, come, when it comes to love, we get stupid. We really do. Um... You can have, you can have all of this and the crazy, wonderful passion too, okay? You don't have to give up who you are to have the passion. You don't have to give up what you're all about to have, um, to have the, uh, stability. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, <sighs> you might, you might have. In this, in this group of options, you might have one that's a little younger than you, uh, quite sexy, um, really turns you on, a lot of chemistry going back and forth, and, and you think, mm, this is it. I mean, I deserve this. This is it, right? But emotionally, they're nowhere near where you are on the same level, and they're not here. There's, there would be no equal give and take in any other aspect of that relationship. And then on the other hand, in these options, you might have somebody who is where you are right here, but there's not a lick of spark there, nothing, okay? So which one do you choose? Neither. Stand in your strength and trust that the universe has exactly what you're looking for and don't try to define it because let me tell you something, if you try to define exactly what it is you're looking for, you're limiting what it what they can bring to you because God our angels our archangels it's like they deliver bigger and better than anything we could ever hope for or imagine that's what they do that's how they wow us okay so there is a person a particular person being called to this you to this you so it's going to be important that as you start making your way through these options that you maintain this person who's very balanced spiritually and materially or spiritually and physically so that the one that's being called to you can actually uh, show up and you'll actually know uh, when they get here. This is pretty exciting, Gemini. I'm very excited for you. Uh, we're going to do a PS because I like to do PSs at the end. And sometimes, like I said earlier, it could confirm the message, and sometimes it's a whole new message. So let's see what else Spirit has to say to you real quick in the area of love. And uh, this is exciting. I hope that you leave comments and uh, maybe come back later in, in, in September and, and, and tell the story uh, in the comments about what happened. Or uh, This is exciting. Can't wait to hear about it. Also, I'm a new channel, and thank you so much for all the subscribes and the likes and the comments and all that stuff. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do so. Okay, so, yeah, you've, you've decided to put down the burden. You put down the burden of worrying about uh, being good enough for a relationship. You went out and found yourself. You've done a lot of work, Gemini. You've done a lot of work, and you've put that down. That part of your life is done. The mental conflict, it's done. You're not worried anymore. Are you, wor are you worthy enough? You know that you are. You're not worried anymore about what other people think. You know, society can be so goofy sometimes. Uh, I have a cousin who's um, 
my age and she's never been married. And people are always like, well, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? And it's like, maybe she doesn't want to get married. You know, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> maybe she's not ready. I mean, you know, you just don't. We think that life is supposed to be a certain way. And, and we can't, as individuals, we can't worry about what society says is supposed to be for us. We decide what's supposed to be for us, okay? And right here, they're saying no more. You, you're not going to feel left out and alone anymore. This work that you've done is about to be rewarded. You're going to stand up from that retreat, and this is who you're going to be. You're going to be somebody who's strong in their self personally, as, as in their physical self, in their material self, and in their spiritual self. That's who you are. And as a result of that, again, you're going to have options, okay? Weed through them carefully. Don't forget your, your strength in the matter because they're calling somebody very special to you. I'm going to pull one more card, one overall card for Gemini as we leave this reading. Show us, give us one card for Gemini as we leave this reading. <laughs> this is a gift from the universe. They're, they're gifting you this, this person that they're calling to you. It is going to be a passionately uh, filled relationship. It's going to tick every ticker in your being. It's going to uh, fill you up and light you up and it's going to be exactly what you've always wanted on every level so whenever you're sifting through your options make sure to remember that and if they don't settle don't settle for for less than what what you want uh, if it's not at least what you want make sure it's more than you ever imagined it could be okay Gemini thank you so much for stopping by uh, go out and have a super day bye